Welcome to Culture Alley. This is Español Lesson 2. Let's start by going over some of the phrases that you learned in the last lesson again. Do you remember that hello or hi is hola? Good morning is buenos dias. Good afternoon is buenas tardes. And good night is buenas noches. Do you remember why good morning is called buenos dias, but good afternoon is called buenas tardes? As we learned, adjectives in Spanish take different forms depending on the gender of the subject. Since morning or dias is masculine, we use buenos, whereas for tardes, which is feminine, we use buenas. Do you remember that we always use plural forms for greetings like good morning or buenos dias and good afternoon or buenas tardes? Both dias and tardes are plural, hence an S is added. Great! Let's now move on to some more delightful greetings and pleasantries in Spanish. The first greeting we will look at is welcome, used when welcoming someone to your house. The Spanish word for welcome is a combination of two words, well and coming or arrival. Well translated to bien in Spanish, coming or arrival is translated to venido for welcoming males, and venida, for welcoming females. Welcome, therefore, translated as bienvenido, for welcoming a male guest, and bienvenida, for welcoming a female guest. So remember, when welcoming a female, use bienvenida. When welcoming a male, use bienvenido. Remember, we end with a for feminine forms and o for masculine. So, can you try these? Bienvenido for welcoming a man and bienvenida for a woman. Perfect. Let's look at the forms of welcome if we were to welcome a group of people. For welcoming a group of males or a mixed group, we use bienvenidos. And for welcoming a group of females, we use bienvenidas. Remember that we add an S at the end for plural forms. So, can you try the plural forms of welcome? When welcoming a group of men or a mixed group, use bienvenidos. When welcoming a group of women, use bienvenidas. Perfect. Let's now look at nice to meet you. The common phrase for nice to meet you literally translates to much pleasure in Spanish. Much translates to mucho and pleasure to gusto. Did you notice the pronunciation of mucho? We earlier learned that H is always silent in Spanish. However, when combined with C, it is pronounced as ch, as in church. So, can you try mucho again? It's called mucho. Very well. As we saw, nice to meet you translates to mucho gusto, literally meaning much pleasure. Can you try saying mucho gusto, please? It is called mucho gusto. Let's now look at how we will say sorry in Spanish. The Spanish phrase for sorry is lo siento. Try saying it yourself, please. Lo siento. One more time. Lo siento. Excellent. Do you remember what we have seen so far? Welcome translates to bienvenido or bienvenida. Nice to meet you translates to mucho gusto. And sorry translates to lo siento. Very good. Now let's move forward and look at how we say excuse me in Spanish. Just like in English, excuse me may be used for two purposes, either to beg pardon or to seek someone's attention. Let's look at both these forms. Excuse me when used to beg pardon translates to perdón. Let's try that one more time. Perdón. Very good. However, for seeking someone's attention, excuse me will translate to discúlpeme. Let's look at this pronunciation again. Discúlpeme is pronounced as di school pe me with the sound of pe like in pet and me like in met. Can you try it, please? It is called discúlpeme. Very good. Let's now look at please. 
please is translated as por favor in Spanish, where por means for and favor means favor. Hence, please literally means asking for favor. Can you try saying por favor? Por favor. Very well. Let's revise what we have learned so far. Welcome translates to bienvenido or bienvenida. Nice to meet you translates to mucho gusto. Sorry is lo siento. Excuse me when begging pardon translates to perdón. And excuse me when seeking attention translates to discúlpeme. Lastly, please is translated as por favor. Great! Let's now look at thank you. Thank you translates to gracias in Spanish. Can you try that please? Gracias. Excellent. There's a key difference in how gracias is pronounced in European Spanish versus Latin American Spanish. C, when followed by E or I, is pronounced as C or C in European Spanish, and C or C in Latin American Spanish. Hence, we will say gracias in European Spanish and gracias in Latin American Spanish. Can you try saying gracias? Gracias. Now try the Latin American version. Gracias. Gracias. Let's now look at fine. Thank you. Fine translates to bien. Hence, fine thank you translates to bien gracias. Let's try that again. Bien gracias. Great. Again. We say bien gracias in Europe and bien gracias in Latin America. Now that you know how to say thank you, let's also look at how we reply to thank you. In Spanish, your welcome or the reply to thank you literally translates to it's nothing or of nothing, loosely meaning you don't need to thank me for anything. Of translates to de and nothing translates to nada. Hence, your welcome or the reply to thank you translates to de nada, loosely meaning don't thank me for anything. So, can you try saying de nada? It's called de nada. Very good. Let's now look at the final greeting for the day. Bye. Bye is translated as adios in Spanish. Can you try that, please? Adios. It can also be translated as hasta luego, meaning until then. So try by again. Adios or hasta luego. Very good. Did you notice the accent on the O in adios? If a word is marked with an accent, then that syllable receives the stress. So try adios once again. Adios. Perfect. An informal alternative to adios in many areas is chao. Can you try saying that? Chao. All right, now it's quiz time. Do you remember the translation for excuse me when used for seeking attention? It is discúlpeme. Did you get that right? Discúlpeme. Can you try the Spanish translation for bye? Bye is translated as adios. How did you do on this question? Now try sorry. Sorry translates to lo siento. Very good. Do you remember please? Please is translated as por favor. How about trying you're welcome? It is called de nada. Did you get that right? De nada. Let's see if you remember, nice to meet you. We say mucho gusto. How did you do there? Do you remember how we will say excuse me if we were begging pardon? We will say perdón. Very good. Let's quickly revise the phrases we learned today. Welcome translates to bienvenido or bienvenida. Nice to meet you translates to mucho gusto. Sorry is lo siento. Excuse me when begging pardon translates to perdón. And excuse me when seeking attention translates to discúlpeme. Please is translated as por favor. Bye is adios. 
thank you is translated as gracias and fine thank you is translated as bien gracias. And lastly, your welcome is said as de nada. Great! It's now time for our culture leaf of the day. Some English subtleties or polite words are not as widely used in Spanish. This may make the language sound brash at first, but that's not really true. For example, you may notice that por favor isn't as widely used as please is in English. Instead of adding extra words, like por favor, we just turn a request into a question, and it's considered just as polite. For example, abres la ventana means, can you please open the window, although we don't really translate the please. As we saw double inverted exclamations, did you notice the inverted question mark in abres la ventana? In Spanish, all questions start with an inverted question mark and end with a question mark. The inverted question is used to communicate the tone of the statement in the beginning itself. Very well. Now that you know how to meet and greet, the next lesson will cover some essential topics needed for moving on to conversational modules. Next lesson will focus on personal pronouns and their usage with examples. We hope you enjoyed your lesson today. See you at the alley for the next one.